right, we're at the Goodwill today. We're gonna head out two stores and hopefully find a ton of great stuff. So stay tuned for that and I will see you all in there. We are in the shoe section as y'all see. First up, some Brooks. These are Ghost 11s. If you don't know, the lesser the number on those, the older they are. I think the newer ones are like up to like 20, 22. So definitely look that up. These, I'm not fully sure, called walk-ons. They're asking $25, and as you can see, they're a pretty small size. Clove is an excellent brand to look out for, but they're asking $15, which is way too much. Those usually sell for roughly $30 or so. And then these, I thought they were Twisted X. If you ever see them real crazy like that, definitely look them up. This next one is some Asics Gel Nusa. So you see they're pretty worn. If they were in good shape, easy 40, 50 bucks. These are some crazy Pumas. They were asking like 15, 20 bucks. This next one is Bricks. I thought about looking it up and then you see it's just kind of in rough shape and it didn't really feel very high quality. These are some nice foot joys, excellent shape. I ended up looking them up as you're about to see for eight bucks. Just they only sell for roughly 25 and decided not to do it. All right, so far three things. First up, Alley Miles. This is always good for six bucks. Be $30 or so. Next up is some Eddie Bauer. This is a reversible down vest for eight bucks. It's in pretty good shape. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. Should be probably 30, 40. And then last but not least, this is a Lululemon flannel, like men's. It's probably a size extra large or 2X. Let's see if I can find that little, little logo right there. Sometimes it takes a sec. For six bucks, great deal. Should sell for 30. I'll show the exact style on there. Definitely look out for styles. They make them sell a little bit faster, so not bad. All right, I just found like five or six Alley Miles, like all together. It's fantastic. Look at this. Here's the first one right here. It's a purple on each of these, especially the button ups. I should sell like 30, 40 bucks a piece for $6. It's insane. It's very pretty. Black one right here. Nice orange style. I may or may not have actually had this one before. Super cool looking. It's a really pretty orange top. All 1X, size 1X, which is an excellent size. This is cool. It's black and then a little bit of a cool plaid. And this is probably the most craziest of them all. It's a little floral pattern. This should sell probably 30, 35 bucks a piece on these. They sell great if you're fine alley miles. Definitely snatch them, especially when it's only like six bucks. Excellent deal. All right, just got off a rack. Found this over here. It's a nice cool little Lily Blitzer for six bucks. It's a little crew neck with a cool top uh, graphic on it. Probably 30 bucks. I'll put a comp on there if I find the exact style. It's pretty simple, but Lily Blitzer usually sells pretty well for me. And the next one is some Spanx. It's a full length, wide leg Spanx right here for six dollars should probably sell for 30 bucks if i find a correct style definitely with spanx if you can find the full length they're going to be a little bit better especially if it's this thicker uh fabric they just tend to sell for a little bit more and a little bit faster as well all right just got off a rack and found two pairs of pants got these nikes as you can see it has a really cool logo on here it's also on the back Got a little bit of printing on here. Uh, ended up finding the style code off the tag. If you don't know, you can find it right here. If you go, it's always this little tiny tag right there. It'll give you the actual uh, style number of it. It's worth about 40 bucks. It's some sort of just like uh, sweatpants, parachute pants, which is cool. And these are aloe yoga. Which, that is fantastic. I don't find that brand ever, pretty rarely. These pants are probably 40, 50 bucks. I'll show a comp of what these are exactly. If you ever find Aloe Yoga, it is kind of the new Lululemon. So definitely look out for that for $6, excellent deal. 
All right, not bad. As you saw, I ended up finding 10, 15 items at that Goodwill. I also ended up getting a subscriber out of it. One of the uh, Goodwill workers actually ended up subscribing to uh, my channel. So that's a really nice thing about bringing in a camera because people just ask all the time, hey, do you have a YouTube channel? What are you doing with that camera? So definitely hit that subscribe. Great time to put that out there. <laughs> and uh, we're heading out to one more Goodwill and hopefully find some excellent stuff. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you there. All right, we're in our second Goodwill, as you can see. First up, this is a brand called Sims. They make kind of like uh, fishing gear. This right here is worth about 30 bucks. So if you find the hoodie shirts, the UPF types, they sell pretty well. I think there was like a 80% sell through rate. And then I ended up finding three fossil leather belt, uh, belts. Here's the first one. Some of them even have really cool little buckles, silver. Each one's three dollars a piece. They should sell off for probably 15 to 20 bucks. Here's the second one, the little belt buckle. And last but not least, this one probably might be the, uh, worth the most since you can see it's got a little embroidery on it. Three dollars, excellent deal. Fossil belts sell great, definitely look out for them. All right, this is like an LA Miles day. I found three more. As you saw, I saw five or six of the other ones. They are really cool looking button ups too. This is the red, black, and a little bit of white. These are all size large, which is also excellent size. Here's the next one. Beautiful button up. So cool. And then a really nice, like teal blue, real light blue right here. Very pretty. Each of these, as I said, 30 bucks a piece. Hopefully find a couple more items. I see a ton of racks in the back, so we shall see. Hey, you got all this stuff at the Goodwill today. We're at the Goodwill and the Hope is Alive thrift store. That's a pretty cool thrift store. So I'm gonna go in here and see what I got. It's pretty awesome. I didn't film in there because it's kind of it's kind of small. This thrift store and there's only like one or two people, so I didn't want to text tripping over. Some big eBay supplies down there. Sorry. <laughs> so this one I got. Oh, I'll play that. Sorry. This was at the Goodwill. This Sony thing. I just did a short of it. This thing was five ninety nine. It's brand new. It's it's some kind of antenna. Huh. The AN dash one. It's like I said, still on the plastic. Some of these were selling for crazy money. Like. 150, 180 I saw one that was from like England or something, but very good, very good find there. I found this Cody James wallet. It's, um, hmm. you know, it's used, but these were doing pretty good too. It's that Hope is Alive place, it was $3. Nice. The, pri the prices at this place are really good. This, the, what do you say? How is this? Kalisa. Kalisa. <laughs> Top. These are really good. Again, $3. Really good deal for that place. These are Happy Camper Torrid shorts. Oh, nice. And they're brand new. So probably 25 or 30 bucks. Uh, kind of the wrong time of year, but you know, yeah. 30 bucks, you just can't beat it. Yeah, and I've seen some like that. Some If you find like the Happy Camper or any of like Harper from Toward, they can sometimes be worth more. Like I found one that was worth like 40 or 50. So those shorts might be a good, even more than that. Yeah, they should be pretty good and brand new, man. Yeah. And I found several cashmere. This is a Peter Millar 100% uh, cashmere. Nice. For five bucks. And I looked it all over. The main thing with these, you guys know cashmere wool stuff. Uh, really look close and make sure there's not holes in it because they really that happens really easily same deal grand sasso cashmere made in italy nice that's a good brand to look out for for yeah, sure really good especially cashmere this is neiman marcus which it's their store brand and normally i wouldn't buy the store brand neiman marcus i mean it's kind of a high-end store but um this is made in scotland 100 percent cashmere so and this one is really cool. This one is a uh, Polo Ralph Lauren, 100% cashmere. And I think it's a vintage one. I saw one, we'll put the comp up here, um, that was vintage, sold for $80. Nice. So I don't know, With you know, it's got the little leather thing. So it should be pretty good. Hmm. This one's kind of crazy. 
This is uh, Sun Sense by Jamie Sadek. And we've had kind of mixed results with her, but there was over 100% sale sell through for this Sun Sense. It's kind of a different thing. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's avant garde. Yeah, it's very different for sure. That's cool. Little Lululemon. Nice. These were three dollars. Looks like the uh, the short, easy thirty bucks. That's cool. Oh, throw it on the floor. Ugh. John Mark. Can't beat that. Yeah, really good deal. John Marks are always really good, and it's a two X, so that's good. Three bucks. Um, another Jamie Sadek. This one is Simplicity. Hmm. Never Same seen deal, really good sell through. Just a nice little zip up top. Another, or a John Mark one. Another John Mark one, 2X. Great size. Yeah, kind of cool color, you know. This is pa a Patagonia skirt. Brand new. Brand new. Nice. Let's see. Um, and I paid $5. That's awesome deal. The brushed vitality. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it looked pretty good. Huh? The tag says fifty nine dollars, so probably thirty. Yeah, easy. This is a uh, Ally Miles. And you can see it's brand new, also. Nice. Ally Miles is a big thing. Seventy four dollar tag. Ally Miles sell great. Yeah. <laughs> this one's even better than like the John Mark or the or the Calais Calisi thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they do really well. I, I like the Alley Miles real well. Now this John Mark one will sell really well because yeah. the pattern's just awesome. The, the, the crazier cool. the pattern, the cooler it looks, the better these do. Again, 2X, so probably the same person. Huh, that's like little buildings on it. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah, and then this was really cool. This little Levi's Sherpa jacket, size large. I was going to try this one on, but that found that at the Goodwill. It was um, marked up a little bit. I think it's... Eleven ninety nine, but pretty hmm. cool. So the only problem is my arms are so long. <laughs> watch this! Watch this! I can pull my arm right out. Oh my gosh! No. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? But pretty cool looking. I just dropped everything on the floor now. We'll pick oh that well. Up. What do you think? Should I keep this. That's pretty nice. Keep this yeah, they likely. I seen those Goodwill tags. They must have thought it was a uh, Halloween thing oh yeah yeah they'll have all the halloween stuff with a white tag for some reason oh, that's strange yeah anyway i thought that was kind of neat some really good finds i found these the other day at uh hopefully yours these are pretty cool too lebron's yeah i think they're only worth about 40 or 50 but they were just really different looking so that's kind of neat and a little north face jacket so that's about it but really good outing for for um just one day man that hope is alive thrift store was just fantastic and they're um they're one of those nonprofit organizations that help people get um free of addiction and that sort of thing so it's really good really good thrift store to go to really good cause so um just appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next one i don't know if this is gonna be on the end or at the beginning so if it's at the end then bye <laughs>